smells really old hey guys welcome back to my channel and today like i promised i'm gonna be showing you one of my oldest comics from 2014 when i was 14 years old yes 14 years old that was that's like eight years ago wow it's been a while so yeah back then i used to call I used to call it the Slam Comics group, and this was this was the logo. This was the logo, and as you can see, I had a lot of inspiration from Marvel Comics, or well, the old version of Marvel Comics. So you see the characters who are involved in this comic, the faces over here, and then okay. So here are the main four four characters. That's Antonio, Diego, Barbara, and Ashlyn. And okay, okay. So the first page. And I was trying to make some kind of narration over here and as you can see I was trying to this was this was where I was learning how to draw stuff in perspective especially buildings and you can tell the I didn't really understand what I was doing but as time went on it got better hmm I see well I, I sometimes get feel proud of myself when I look at these old comics because it makes me understand that while, while people were not we're drawing flat images and not trying to depict depth in their art. I was practicing what I was learning from YouTube. <laughs> I was feeling so lazy to draw the background. Yeah, come in. look at the head. Look at that head. So weird. Damn, look at that perspective. I don't know if you guys see the mistake I made here. Some people will see this and be like, damn, this is awesome, this is awesome. But trust me, look at the mistakes. These guys are closer to the camera. But I made them look like they are way below. If I was to draw them right now, I mean, I would draw them here. Then everyone else would be just the way I've drawn it like this, I think. But it's also because the camera angle was from above all of them, so... I felt like I should make them this small. Well, I know my mistakes now, so. And sometimes you realize their faces will keep changing from time to time. Okay, so. You know what? Let me just skip. I'm not gonna spoil you guys with the storyline. So yeah, as you can see, I'm still trying to depict perspective as I drew every page. So yeah, basically the spherical crystal, the scarlet crystal, came from space and it landed on Earth. And these four characters were the first people to find it. So yeah, Barbara was the first person to find it and then she showed it to her sister and blah, 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 blah. They called to meet up at night and then... <laughs> the boys started fighting over it who wants to see it first and all and then boom hmm, I actually forgot this whole storyline so yeah I sent a signal to the villain <laughs> <laughs> this okay guys this is the villain of the storyline his name was Dr. Brain <laughs> as you can see Dr. <laughs> everyone called him a butthead Okay. so he was looking for the scarlet crystal to get the power for himself but turns out it landed on the on earth so like the, the kids found out first and now the kids have to protect the scarlet crystal from him so that's how the storyline goes okay so so over here you see this blue guy standing at the top his name is blue wave he is supposed to be guarding the crystal. He's supposed to protect whoever finds the crystal and guide them onto how to use the crystal. So after the scarlet crystal reacts to their fight or whatever it is, it shoots that beam up and then gives them a signal. The bad guys, the bad guy sends his minions to look for the scarlet crystal and destroy anyone who wields it. So yeah, the scarlet crystal calms down again and then they surround it wondering what really happened not knowing that at that time they had already received their powers Blue realized that the bad guys will be coming anytime soon so he jumps into action 
so yeah those are the bad guys yeah basically that's the story they are supposed to protect the scarlet crystal from falling into the wrong hands with the power that they gain from the scarlet crystal if that makes sense mm, yeah so basically my main inspiration was from marvel comics especially spider-man and how spider-man's costume looks how his weapons are i mean did i say weapons i mean his gadgets web shooter and all those kind of stuff yeah so as you can see i was this is where i experimented a lot of inking styles i was always trying to create black shadows for the dark tones which really helped me in the long run i guess sometimes the black as you can see here the black the black strokes keep obscuring the details a bit it's like i'm over detailing it and it's covering everything up which is kind of bad but i had to go through that to get better all right chapter three so chapter three the bad guys find out where they are in school okay first of all this is how they this is how they found out what kind of superpowers they have they were late for school the bus left them and then but I, i'm not gonna tell you guys your, your superpowers this will spoil the whole story for you so basically it's in chapter three that he found out what kind of powers he have and um mm, yeah Yeah, so I decided to color it a bit. But I never stay consistent with the colors. So. Anyway, I was more interested in putting down the story than trying to make it finished. And one funny thing was that at this time I didn't even know there was something called a graphics tablet. Which is weird because graphics tablets have been there since the first mac the first iMac I guess well shout out to the Ghanaian school system alright so chapter 3 they fought in school and um, that's where they got to know their superpowers chapter 4 so as you, as you can see I kept changing the title because I still wasn't satisfied with the previous ones it's more because the further, the more I drew, the better I became. So you can compare the, these two drawings. Let's see. This one. As you can see, these are two different characters, but like they're in the same posture. So you can use them as an example. Compare this guy to this guy. You can see there's a bit of improvement in the anatomy. The details in the muscles. So I, I had a bit of understanding in how anatomy is supposed to be done. So as I kept drawing, I kept seeing the older drawings to be ugly and sometimes I would just reboot the whole storyline just because the drawing looks old. <laughs> so I was drawing the police arriving at the school and I was feeling so lazy to draw the background. But as you can see I tried to depict the, back, the perspective but it still didn't look like we're in the same environment looking at the size of the police and the size of the school. <sighs> so embarrassing. Okay, so they got captured by the bad guy and eventually they found their way out. They escaped from the spaceship. I remember I drew the whole chapter of them escaping from the spaceship. Okay, so from chapter 4, we move on to chapter 9. Very wonderful, right? So here's what happened. One time I was drawing chapter... Was it chapter 9? Yes, when I was drawing chapter 9, I was just there and then... Uh, a guy came to ask me to let him read my comics. I'm talking about 2014, way back in 2014, when I was in high school. Junior high school. This guy just came, started reading... Um, the time I realized he was not there anymore, the, the drawings were there alright, but he wasn't there. I got kind of pissed because he just left them there without letting me know he was leaving. Came back, got home, 
went through the art and i realized <laughs> that was when i realized he has stolen chapter 5 to chapter 8 so the whole of chapter 5 6 7 and 8 never seen them since 2014 yep and since that time i've been mourning them i'm still mourning it anyway <laughs> So here's chapter 9. So fast forward, they have their costumes and everything. So you can see the character line up here. Radiative. That's supposed to be radioactive. Oh god. So where you can tell that my perspective was getting better. So you can see I drew the front of the school. Which looked kind of nice. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly. Yeah, and yeah, I got really better at drawing everything. If you compare this to the old one, this one. If you compare these two drawing faces and then environments, you can tell that this one looks way better than that one. Yeah, so my drawing of facial fish expressions got better. Okay, so here's that bully again. Try to bully the, the the brothers, Diego and and Antonio. Yeah, so here they were showing off their skills in basketball. Blah blah blah. They put on their costume and then flew into the spacecraft. Whatever, went to their headquarters. <laughs> guys look at this yep i know this is really bad like real bad <laughs> i think i used a reference for this guy's muscles but it still didn't turn out right i mean look at this guy i felt like i had done real well people would see this and be like this is awesome but trust me this is real bad real real bad damn so embarrassed right now <laughs> Whoops. Damn. Did I draw this? God damn it. Look at the length of that arm. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this was kind of a reboot of the storyline. Maybe I should recreate this. Okay, so this was a, a cover I made for my sketchbook, which apparently didn't last that long. But it's supposed to be of Solar Blaze sitting on top of a building, like he had the side of a building. There another city. Kind of like Spider Man. Okay, so this was a reboot of the Scarlet Crystal. Tried to make a whole new cover for it and you can tell that I was getting better and better. Okay, so here I was 15 years old. So this is probably 2015. You can see the lines look a bit cleaner. The shades are more decisive and intended. The title looks a bit nicer. So this was the ultimate reboot. So I decided to save some paper and then divide it into two and draw it draw it two pages to one paper so here's the first page okay here's the front and the back page I can't believe I have all these because I literally don't didn't have these in my memory stop reading this it doesn't make sense all right. so I recreated the what is it called? the front page as you can see I didn't change the positions I just made it look better so over here you can tell I'm more and I understand where the light and the darkness is supposed to be than over here. Over here I didn't actually do anything like that. 
like until I really knew what I was doing over here. Which is a good thing because this is just one year difference. So this is why I keep telling you guys to keep drawing because I never stopped drawing and after one year you can tell that I got really better at drawing faces. Look at that face. I got really better with the proportions just by drawing over and over again. Like as you keep drawing, you keep seeing your mistakes even more. You know, more clearly. Yes. So this is a remake of that first page I showed you guys. You can tell everything looks way better over here. The classroom scene and everything. The professor. Compare these. The camera angle looks less boring now. Look at the bell ringing. This time it's like it's tilted. This one is straight on. You can see it's almost like a perfect remake. Look at the perspective over here. Look at the perspective over here. This one's coming from a lower angle, trying to mean that he's he has authority in the class. I think my storytelling had got, got to it. So you see, instead of making his arm straight, I tilted it a little bit to make it more realistic. Which is cool. Now look at the perspective over here. Look at this. This one. And look at this one. The difference. It's neat. Wow. I'm actually impressed. Because they look really nice. I didn't expect it to be this nice. Okay, so at this time I had this Spider-Man comic book that I was referring from. So during the narration, I'll add a bit of creativity to touch the narrative. And over here there's a bully the fight with the bully. So the drawing is a bit more detailed. Well, it does look like something out of sex right now. And look at that. This is one of my favorite shots ever. There's a scene of them going back. Let me let me compare it to the old one. Yes. So look at these two scenes. So this and that. The angle is much better and less more cinematic. Unlike this one. So instead of just in the street at them, I'll show a bit of the background now. So things moving in the background. And instead of him talking straight on like this, I show the side kind of a three quarter view to make it less boring. This was another reboot I made. But look at the neck of that girl. Damn. You can see I kept changing this. Okay, so this is 2016. 2016. So at this time I was more interested in adding more blacks to the drawings. You can see how getting better storytelling, making the whole space So yes, this is the first time I'm explaining the person who created the scarlet crystal. So it was actually an experiment being made by a scientist which went wrong. Not necessarily wrong, but Ringo has planned so. I seriously need to sit down and read all this. I feel like I don't remember anything. I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I can see the the change, the gradual change in the I mean, look at this shot. Just to show that they are all surprised. And I got closer to their faces, which means I knew I wanted to show their faces, which is good. Better than I expected. And the camera angles and everything are just point just i wasn't really good at depicting the facial expressions in different camera angles like that but it looked great now you guys know i was never so good from the beginning so yeah i guess you guys now understand that art is not just a talent it's a skill i mean you look at this and you look at my current art and you can tell i've really got, i've really come along with Yes, you guys have no excuse to tell me that I've been drawing for a long time, so yeah, blah blah blah. I worked on it. It's not just a talent. Alright, let's see what I have in the other. Okay, so I think I got it every. Oh. Yeah. This was my favorite cover 
ever okay so i'm sure you guys know why this was my favorite because i was able to put them all in a nice composition i mean look at the title now it looks so nice designed look at this is this is a scene what the scene where they got struck by the power of the scarlet crystal and i don't know it just feels so nice looking at it all over again you know what i'm going to color this i tried to color it on photoshop back in 2017 when i didn't even have a tablet but it didn't go so well so i didn't i don't remember i, I don't think i posted this i guess i can make a re redraw of all these I don't think I'm going to redraw this because it looks nice. Okay. So here I was using a brush, dipping it in ink and then painting on this. They didn't go so well, so I didn't really continue. But at the times I still experimented with that. This is Lisa. Talk about her later. So this was where I started using scripts. At first I would just sketch anything. Like that. Had the, had the comment the dialogue that i wanted i was trying to make it a little bit more cinematic but i, I never continued mm, so you can see over here i had really improved this is 2016 i'm sure or probably 17 probably yeah i did really well come on those way way better now way way better Here's a, here's a basketball scene. <laughs> it's trying to do big four shots in hand. Didn't work out, but see, I was doing my best over here. Okay, so usually I would start by sketching everything in the whole chapter over here. So here's like a rough sketch of everything I wanted to draw, everything I wanted to see in the movie. So here's the start. I really enjoyed this because I could finish a whole chapter in one day because it was it had nothing to do with details. I would just go all out, going whatever I imagined. Damn. Damn. Damn, I have to get back to this. My storytelling was so good. It was so good over here. I'm really, really hyped right now. I keep telling myself I'm not ready enough to start the whole comic but this is convincing enough I'm convinced I have to start again I'll have to yes I have to nice so we, over here I'll always write the date I drew any any character so this is solar blaze as you can see I reference from spider-man is him jumping from building to building and this was drawn in 10th november 2014 yeah so i was 14 years old when i did this wait i wasn't even okay i was 14 years old november yeah so this is what else i think i was drawing this in 2017 yes 2017 definitely aha so as you can see my drawings got better and better this is 2017 2018 yeah this was the first time i started trying to use digital art to draw comics well not the first first time but like the first time i used a better app for comics to draw comics can you believe i actually use a mouse to draw this i use a mouse to draw this I didn't have a graphics tablet at that time. I didn't even know what it was. I was just trying whatever I could. And this is how it turned out. Okay. So this was when I created this character for the first time. Blue Wave. I kind of... Yes, obviously. You can tell I kind of referenced a lot of things from Deadpool. But he's not as funny as Deadpool. He's not stupid. He's, he's kind of the opposite of Deadpool. He's very cool and serious all the time. Yeah. That's the same character, Blue Wave without a mask. Aha! 
I don't know if you guys are, you guys are familiar with this picture, but I scanned and colored this one and posted it on my Instagram account. Yeah, I drew this in 2017, I think. Let's see. 2018. February 2018. Yeah, you can tell my sense of him figure drawing anatomy and foreshortening perspective was kind of really good right now okay so i drew this when i when one of my friends well i we lost a friend so i decided to draw his character and my character fighting each other so this solar blaze and then his arch nemesis ice cube <laughs> Ice Cube versus Solo Blaze. Yeah. This is Fire vs. Ice. Ooh. I don't know why I drew this, but I did. So at this time, whenever I draw, I would, I would write the dates, the time, and the exact place I was. Okay, so I was born in 2020. This is 2016. I think I drew this in JHS 2015. So it's actually cool. Yes. Damn. Damn. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I keep surprising myself with stuff that I forgot. So here was a redraw re of the cover art I made. So if I think these two were the nicest. The rest, the rest was just bad. Oh, I saved the background. I think I did really well. But so far, the best one was the one that we were all looking up and screaming. This is another one, a remake again. How many remakes did I do? Damn. Viewed this like a thousand times. But wow. I think this comic was actually cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where I was using it. Oh, I didn't use a brush. But as you can see, my, de my details were even better. Look at his face. So well lit. Photocopy. Yes. Here's another drawing I made, I'm sure, in 2014. Yeah, 2014. Ooh. I didn't know I, I, I kept this drawing here. But this was when I started drawing portraits. And I know this is not supposed to be part of this list of drawings, but yes, yeah, this is a drawing of Paul Walker. I'm actually really imp impressed because I could, I could draw real well. It's not bad. It's 2016. Yeah, 2016. Okay. So at the beginning, I was kind of embarrassed because of how bad it was. But as I went on it, it's looking better. It's actually awesome. Let me put everything back together. So yeah, looks like these are my favorites. This is my favorite because one of my favorites because it's old and it shows how bad I was at first. And this is my favorite because it looks like the perfect shot I would use for an intro of this storyline. What do you guys think? I'm really glad how this turned out because it really looks cool. So cool. Let me, let me know if you guys want to see this in like see me redraw the whole thing. That's a whole new story. And um, hopefully this might be one of my first ever comics to come out. Thanks for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed seeing my old art and I hope you were not so embarrassed to see what I drew back in 2014. But yeah, as you can see, as you can see, I, was re I, I got really better at drawing. This is Antonio, in case you haven't noticed. 
this is Barbara yes that's her and then that's Ashlyn in the middle and then Diego over here yeah so the arrangement and everything was real good this didn't come because I copied something or I don't remember using any any references for this one I just imagined what I wanted to draw and then like I sketched it out and I drew it because this proves that you don't necessarily always need to reference all the time in order to get better drawing over and over again and trying to get what you've always wanted trying different ways to get it is actually the best way to go about it so yeah all right so here's i think we've come to the end of the video and let me know if you like this video if you would like to see the older drawings and yeah i'll catch you guys soon in the next one peace